guys welcome to btech mechatronic um kindly like subscribe and share the channel for us to grow um what we have is um 212 mercedes-benz w212 um this is 272 engine and the customer complainant is that um they have changed the gearbox in which um uh, when you when you um shift their column to reverse reverse um the gear will be jerking as you i, I hope you you could hear the the distance the jerk when you shift the gear to drive um you 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 will hear that kind of noise it's like your gearbox seat has you know sport something like that but it's because of the gear as you can see you could see the shake so what i'm going to do that uh, is that i'm going to scan the system the transmission we are going to do online programming of it first of all i'm going to use the start to do what you call um to check <coughs> i'm using this is um, um, um i'm using sentry this is mb star um, i'm using this is super mb pro this is super mb pro it support online but you know i don't have um, the license so i can't do it online so what i'm going to do is that i'm, I'm trying to put it put the transmission in um, repair mode then i will use my mexix this is the message then i will use the message to do the online coding um so we go to let me read the fourth first the output speed sensor no problem um, we go to adaptation then we go to let me see um, not here let me go to coding manual, manual coding this display of coding You can see the EHS part number 212. It's 212. Although it's 212, but you, the EHS part number is 212. But we are having this jerking, so you have to do online coding for it. Um, Special procedure. Um, you go to special procedure, then you come to this this session. As you can see, swap component VGS three with component VGS four. So we click on continue. <coughs> it is at um, the data has been quite successful so we, we click on continue now um the the, the gearbox now that this thing is in um repair <coughs> repair mode <coughs> it is in repair mode now so okay let me let me do this for you all to see it is in repair mode is in repair mode so what i was trying to show you is that when you click on transmission which is this one um it will automatically some sometimes it will it will not communicate with the transmission it will shut off okay well the output speed is there so it is it is still in um what do you call um it is still in repair mode it is still in repair mode so um i'm going to it is in, it is still in the repair mode so um i'm going to take the this thing off <coughs> take the 
taking this move then plug my mesix yeah, what i want to do is that my vci is already connected i have connected everything successful over here so um, um let me diagnose the transmission first then i'll, I'll come back from i'll go back <coughs> Let's read the fault. I'm not going to clear uh, the fault. I will just go back. It is either you do you 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 click from this session, or you 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 go by this procedure. Go to programming, programming and coding. You click on transmission. Um, re remember this is an online programming we do initialization then we click on manual initialization we click on manual in initialization and the reason is that um, the old one is not there so um, we, are use we are going by already fitted um, use one or new one so you follow the uh, instructions then you click OK now it will start to acquire um, the data in the system. Um, I'm shutting my engine off, then open the ignition. Um, so that I will not be having any issue with anything over here. <coughs> Sorry. You know, um, I guess I wanted to pause somewhere. I don't want the video to be long, but uh, no problem. I'm calculating the number of channels. It's acquiring, restoring data. Um, it, it has backed up the data just in case there is a problem so that it can restore the previous distance. So we are going to click the transmission control in it programming coding and performed and uh, learn function and other stuff so yeah, it's, it's, it's you know um, getting the data file from online or from the server the main reason I'm doing this online programming was that um the gear when you sh when you shift from reverse you hear some click noise a hard noise that pushes the car that is why i'm doing coding um you see the part number the the coding number in in this uh, in the control uh, con tcu is um zero zero and our target is this one so we are going for the down one so we click yes <coughs> And we all saw that I did not clear the distance. The parking has went off because um, the distance has started, you know, doing the stuff. Let me hear ninety percent after the distance. It has acquired the data and is doing the programming. Now you could see the P has come back. The parking has been highlighted over here. And. <clears throat> As you can see the, the coding and everything the transmission is being programmed see um the old the old tcu has lost that is why i did um manual initialization if the new one if the old one is there i will, I will go for automatic um this thing initialization the automatic initialization what it does is that um it 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 transferred the distance um um it transferred the old data from the tcu to the new tcu that that's the meaning of automatic distance and sometimes when you're doing this when you're when you are programming the online coding it will ask for ehs part number as i show you from the star you have to input or you have to put the 
uh, EHS part number in it so that it will adopt it. But in our situation, um, I, I don't have it. So when it pop ups, I, 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 I have to, you know, generate some. I have to generate my own EHS part number. So um, let me pause. So, um, coding the transmit the coding of the transmission has failed. The coding of the transmission has failed. Maybe there's there's a problem somewhere. So I have to check. I have to check the reason. And <coughs> after the fail, I I restarted everything. So <coughs> what I'm going to do is that I'm I'm now going to use the data two. So I'm running the data two. What I wanted to show you earlier on was that um, uh, it's, it's running. I wanted to show you something. You could see that previously the the distance, the P, R, N, and the D, it was down here. When any um, Mercedes from 204 to 212, that uses the DSI, which is the select um, um lever the the lever the the shift lever that stands here that does not use the column shift has um eight p and um and the d on a straight straight line but those ones has the column shift has this line so after the coding um after the coding of the distance I now saw it that the, the 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 P has has come has come on this way, or oh, the, the it has changed to this form. Let me put it that in that order. Um, so um, it's in progress. I guess I want to pause for here. So <clears throat> so we are in a, some seconds away <clears throat> to make it done. I'm just hoping that the the second option works because um, the previous one, when I used the first one, um, we all saw that the coding was yes, it has done. Uh, this one has picked, so we turned our ignition off. We click and OK. The ignition is off, as you can see from the swap. But you could see that in, it asks us to turn our ignition on. Turn my ignition on. My ignition is on. And click OK. It is asking me to, you know, remove all these things and but I will ignore. Then click on yes. Click OK. Now, as you can see, then we click on OK. You see, um, it has given us that um. Um, the process teaching of the drive authorization and other stuff or this thing uh, if you like you, you will do it if you don't uh, you can ignore but in our situation I'm, I'm, I'm just clicking continue to see if it it has that session then I will do it you see it is it is starting already it's already activated so you click on continue So um, I have to step on the on the brake. We have to program everything again. Then um, we click on continue. We're not starting the car because we will shift the distance to you know teaching the distance the ring sensor. reverse as you can see then put it on neutral that's neutral then initializing again Put it on drive. It's initializing. 
as you can see um the range has been very successful we shift to park then um we can continue on um, it's resetting the ecu so the function everything has been you know program or coded successful As you can see now it's successful everything is successful now so i would just conduct a test drive let me my bluetooth is already on um, um, i'm going to scan the system for you to see whether the the fault still persists afterwards then i will conduct a test drive The fault I did not clear, so I'm expecting it to went it off. As you can see, it's off by itself. So that means, let me start. If the if we shift the gear, it will jack again or something. Now it has stopped, so I'm going to conduct a test drive. Um, the test drive is going on. I'm I'm conducting a test drive to see whether everything is working. Just trying to power it and see whether the output speed sensor will pop up again. Uh, where I'm driving is very dangerous, but um, I'm trying to do my best to see whether it will, it, will, it will come out good or something. So that is it. I'm trying my best. So. family um, so the test drive has has been conducted successful and now the this thing the gear does not hit it shifts normal and I'm going to scan the transmission again if there is any fault again there is no fault there's no fault so um, that is it we are done um, I guess they have changed the control unit before. That is why the power steering and uh, other stuff are, are on the dashboard. So, peace out.